here, Pop. Dude, yeah. come tell some stories. Pop's telling the best stories. Not my Pop. Look at the boys. Don't do too much with your lives now, will you? Pop, we're just having a beer. Ye young ones. Does nothing. Celebrate everything. You know what, Pop? i never seen you drink before. Did you ever drink? I'll tell you a story now. The last time I was drunk, I was 41 years old. I remember it like it was yesterday. You should have seen me. I looked some different. You'd never know it was me. I could have got any girl I wanted. Could have flattened any fella. I was starting up my car, boy. And I heard a loud, irritating noise. The wife. Cecil! I love yelling at you! Wait, what? She yelled, I love yelling at you? When you get a wife, you'll know. Anyway. Then, I heard a real odd noise coming at the car. So I popped the hood, checked dial, checked me cables. Then, I seen a squirrel. I thought, what's he at now? Better not be at my bird feed. Then I checked me bird feeder, and I noticed a few nibbles out of the Cheerios. Then I thought, Cheerios? What's the birds watching their cholesterol? Then, I had a few for myself so I don't have another stroke. Pop, what does this have to do with you getting drunk? I was getting to that. And then I got drunk the next day. See, I told you. Anyways, boys, what are you going at today now? Is it fine out a whole lot? Think about going for a little hike in the woods there now, boy? That woods there? I'll tell you a story about that woods there. I was 20 years old. I was a young baby faced fella, and I had the whole world ahead of me. I was out fixing me fence, and I heard a bone chilling shriek. It was the wife. Cecil! For the next 50 years, I won't shut up! I'll give it to the wife. She's no liar. Anyways, all of a sudden, I heard a rustle. It was me buddy Russell from Bell Island. Cecil, boy, something wrong with your car. So I went to me car, popped the hood, checked dial, checked the cables, then I seen a squirrel. Pop, you just told us a story about the squirrel. No, no, this was a totally different squirrel. This one was nuts. <laughs> Get it? Because squirrels eat nuts. You know what else they eat? Bird feed. Did I ever tell you about the time the squirrel ate me bird feed? Yeah, uh, like three times since we started talking. See, she got a bottle opener I can use for a minute, boy. Just use your pocket knife. I don't have a pocket knife on me, boy. My son, one time you weren't a man unless you had a pocket knife. Boy, I remember me first pocket knife, boy. I was only seven years old. I was hanging out with young Billy Noseworthy. I was a young, cute little handsome fella. Next thing you know, me cell phone rang. Cell phone? Didn't you just say you were seven? Well, boy, they didn't look anything like they do today. Hello? I told you to text me. Stop calling. Then I heard the wife scream. Cecil! We got married way too young! Then me buddy Billy stumbled on the wildest thing. It was me car, and there was something wrong with her. I said, she's a 2016. She's not supposed to sound like that. So I popped the hood, checked dial, checked the cables. And then you seen the squirrel? No, no, boy. This time I seen the cat. Then I realized it was a squirrel. Oh my god, Pop. You, like, never get to the point of any of your stories. Come on, man, let's... Just wait, hold on. Keep her going, cease. That reminds me of a story that happened to me. It was only yesterday. I won a free pocket knife. And I went in that woods over there. And I got loaded for the last time. And then... And then... And then I seen the squirrel! And there it is. Justin! I'm coming!